Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you why I am buying so much of MetaZoo. MetaZoo is cheap. I mean, a $8,200 or $820 box is now worth $40. That sounds like crazy to me. I love like discount. I love cheap stuff. I love dead card games. And MetaZoo, when it was living, didn't really have any appeal to me. I'm never going to ever pay $820 for a single booster box, even if it comes with a bundle of crap. I'm never going to pay $700 for a mystery box. I'm too smart for that, right? Um, when you talk about Magic the Gathering and how much money I spent on that, the losses you know, are very, very small in comparison to the losses of MetaZoo. I'm seeing Argos Anonymous, who was MetaZoo's number one cheerleader, and he's fire, it looks like to me, he's fire selling everything he's got, you know, to for his cafe or, or whatever else he needs to do. Uh, MetaZoo is not going to the moon. It is uh, obviously very cheap. And there's something, as long as you didn't pay $8,200 for MetaZoo, as long as you didn't pay $150 for Hello Kitty and all this stuff, right? You're now able to pick up for like low. I can tell you for Hello Kitty specifically, there is no product on the market cheaper than a booster box, right? Uh, there is no product on the market right now for Hello Kitty that is cheaper than, sorry, a booster pack online. Hello Kitty is a relatively expensive IP. It is not um, as cheap as people think it is. And honest to God, like, for it to be at this current price, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Um, I do not know uh, if MetaZoo will ever come back. I think it's kind of done. People are not really hoping. They're, they're selling their grails. So just taking Argos, not to pick on him too much, right? But Argos, for instance, uh, he supposedly spent all this time collecting grails. And now all these grails are on sale to fund, you know, but like he understands the game is dead. I understand the game is dead. You understand the game is dead. Like there's not a mystery of like, oh, what's happening, guys? No, no. <laughs> the mystery has been solved a long time ago. The game was never truly a game. It was just like pump and dump and uh, it, they pumped enough and dumped enough and they're out. So when you talk about uh, MetaZoo, I, I want to make sure that you guys understand it's a lot of fun to buy these promos for no money. For me. Like somebody paid a shit. Somebody paid $8,200 for a, a box. Right? Or, or, or five boxes that I can get for 200 now. That is. I mean that is. You, got, you, got, you have to admit. Morbidly. Maybe it's morbid right? Maybe it's the morbid collector in me. That's kind of interesting to think about. Right? Um. Is, is it not? Like, if you can get these things for uh, for almost no money, would, wouldn't that be... Like, people was like, oh, you're buying junk. I don't view it that way. I'm I'm buying things that people paid a shit ton of money for. That's how I view it. I'm viewing buying things that people paid a nose and a, a mouth for, right? I mean, an arm. I'm buying things people charge through their credit card. And I'm being able to build a collection of a lifetime for one one hundredth of the price they paid for it. You might think that's morbid, but I love it. You know, I love, I mean, obviously, you know, maybe people say, oh, you're very negative, but hell, man, I'm cashing them out. I mean, that's the way I look at it is, okay, they, they wanted to go to the moon. They didn't quite get there. And now um, I'm the security blanket. I'm willing to buy all this shit. Like, it's, it's very... I, I I have the biggest Meta X collection in the world. I posted it on my YouTube. You can check it out. I have the biggest Inuyasha collection, TCG player collection, TCG collection in the world. I have the biggest Fire Emblem collection in the world. I p fully plan on having the biggest Meta Zoo collection in the world, but I'm not going to do it at $820 a box. And I'm not going to, I'm, I'm doing it now because you're seeing play tester. You're seeing all these things that, like, if this happened, if Magic the Gathering playtester cards came out at, like, $20, $30 with shipping to your home, 
You're telling me you you don't think that could go? No, no. You'd be like, oh, it's a dead card game. But dead card games are very interesting. A lot of people don't have experience in them, like I do. And I'm going to tell you something. Eventually, everyone who wants to sell will sold. Meaning that you're not really worried about prices no more. You're worried about the liquidity of the market. Which is the same problem I face with like when something like Inuyasha uncut sheets that I've never seen before in 20 years come up, I gotta buy them for any price because I don't know when the next time a play tester or uncut sheet will come up. And this was before uncut sheets were all that popular and so on, right? And and one has never come up, so that actually is one of my biggest buys uh, in 20 during COVID was uh, Inuyasha Uncut Sheets, and I've never seen another one cut them. Now, again, there's, it came up, the story is very blah, blasé, but uh, there are people, there's another individual who I believe has some of them, but they're not necessarily, um, how can I say it? They're not necessarily ever come up in the market. You're never going to see it come up in the market again, because at the end of the day, it's just this type of product. Meta Zoo, you might never see it come up in the market again. Um, and I think um, a lot of this one uh, comes down to can you pick up this? Can you pick up that? Can you pick up this? Can you pick up that, right? Uh, a lot of the... oh, You have an opportunity to pick up some really special stuff. I'll put it that way for you. You have an opportunity to pick up some incredibly special stuff um, that you will never see again. And this is the type of stuff I can tell you that if you are even a little bit of a fan or even if you want to be a fan, my... So Meta X, I picked up a lot of stuff because I saw it go belly under. I saw prices go down 95%. Decided, hey, I like DC. I'm going to buy it. I didn't buy anything before. I just waited for the game to die. It was made by Panini, and they have beautiful hollow foils. Meta X has the same hollow foils that people in sports cards are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars per card. So the Wimley, the Shimmer, is actually just the base hollow foil. Um, the X Refractor, they, they have all this like technology that they applied to this card game. And I assume that people would make... You know, people would actually, oh, Batman, Batman, right? And no, but, you know, Marvel, obviously DC just kind of just shot itself in the foot. Meta Zoo is quite interesting. You can build a very, very, you can build probably the biggest collection in Meta Zoo for under 25000 That's how much it cost me to build the biggest collection of Inuyasha. That's how much it cost me to build the biggest collection of Fire Emblem. So I am all in on this. You know, I'm I'm going to spend twenty five thousand dollars to probably get a one hundred X like compared to the peak price. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it on the way down, on the way up. I mean, it is um, one hundred percent something that I think is worth doing. I am going to try to get the largest Meta Zoo collection to go with my Meta X collection. No one can com compare my Meta X collection. No one has that. No one has a class. I've shown my collection off on camera multiple times. No one's saying, oh, I got a big... Nope, they don't. And Yasha. And, uh, I'm, yeah, this is another dead card game for me to collect and go to the moon with. I have a lot of fun with dead card games.